Welcome to another episode of Seaside Nomad. My name's Dave, and this episode's gonna start out as a fishing episode. I'm trying to catch stripers, but uh, I didn't do very well, so I turned it into something else. I found something else, and that is what we are gonna show you today. So stay tuned and check out these really cool animals that I found. Right now, I'm in a saltwater marsh. Um, you got an incoming tide. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend, and I tr I'm trying to get a striped bass, you know? So midday, not the best time to fish for striped bass, but I, uh, I, I tried this spot first, and the river is super muddy, as you can see. So, and I'm just casting lures, so not a lot of luck so far um the incoming tide's bringing in some mud it didn't really rain or anything yesterday but this might just be a big high tide or something so uh yeah i just pulled over in this really cool spot um i'm not sure if you can see yeah there it is there's a uh osprey nest right up there on top of that power line looks like it's made for them this is uh right next to a wildlife refuge so that's kind of why there's a, a ton of bird life um and uh, animal life around here uh, it's really sweet. I'm in this little marsh before it gets filled in by the high tide, so I'm kind of like hiding out. It's kind of cool. Um, no fish yet. I've made some casts um, on this spot, but uh, oh, I just, wow. I'm going to show you guys something really cool. I just found this. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's a horseshoe crab. Uh, this has become Horseshoe Crab Alley. I've seen three horseshoe crabs so far. They're spawning too. Um, they're dropping eggs. They dig into the gravel and the mud and then they drop their eggs and then try to like bury them a little bit. Um, and there's a male usually attached to the female and she, um, he is uh, fertilizing the, uh, the eggs. And the funny thing is there's all these little bait fish that swim around and then as the eggs drop the, the bait fish kind of pop out and just eat them. So it's it's a good thing that the horseshoe crabs have a lot of eggs, but uh, yeah, I keep seeing them, but I'm not getting them on film. It's too muddy, and uh, they just don't really come that far outside the water, so I'm going to keep trying. I think I might have got one good shot, but I don't know yet. The big shell, that's the female, the little one on behind her, that's the male. And there's another one, it might be another female or a big male. It seems like it's kind of encroaching. This is awesome. These things are everywhere, by the way. This is just a saltwater marsh on Great Bay, and uh, this is the time. This is where the spawning happens for the fish and for the horseshoe crabs. The male just kind of latches on. And the female, she's looking for a good spot. She's looking for a good spot to hide her eggs. And then there are two osprey flying right over my head. Sounds like we got a little baby, a little chick. And there's totally a spider crawling on my leg right now. I'm gonna power through guys, this is for you. Osprey chick, mom or dad, hanging out with them. And then mom or dad just flew off. Nature. spider hasn't left oh wait no that's a that's a pair and then another osprey came around and just gave a swipe at one of those and that guy that dad or mom is not having oh we got a fight on our hands so I finally got a couple good shots of these horseshoe crabs and this turned out to be awesome I did not expect this to be uh, what I was gonna be doing today I was just gonna come in here and fish for a little bit but this has actually been really cool, and uh, these osprey, that's been, like, they've been having a lot of uh, osprey drama, as you do, 
and then uh, I finally got a good shot of these horseshoe crabs and there was like a third so it seems like everybody's uh, it's kind of like a dating app out there everybody's trying to crush but uh, you know <laughs> that's nature it really makes me wonder if this is how many horseshoe crabs I'm seeing um, and it's this muddy and I'm only seeing just when they come to the surface by the by the shore there have to be just like tons of them down right beneath me that's uh that's pretty wild that must be this just must be a fiesta this is a big this is a big party <laughs> so I'm out here at Great Bay in New Hampshire and I was fishing but just having no luck today so the water is pretty muddy not a great day for fishing but I stumbled on something that I think is even cooler check it out Horseshoe crabs, a ton of them. Just came back from not catching any fish. And I found a ton of <laughs> horseshoe crabs that are spawning. Have you seen that many horseshoe crabs before? I haven't. So here's the deal. There's one female right there. They tend to be bigger. And all these other horseshoe crabs, these are all males. And I think that they are all trying to mate with this big female. She's a very popular lady today. As you can see, she's using her shell to dig. And that means she's probably about to drop her eggs. And then one of these males is hopefully going to fertilize these eggs. They need like stuff like this. They have, see this gravel? This is perfect. That allows the eggs to kind of get covered and, and, and they're safe from predators. That's why they dig kind of drop the eggs in the gravel. They need gravel. <laughs> this is, I, I've never seen so many horseshoe crabs in one spot. I mean, the ground is literally covered with horseshoe crabs. And all I gotta do is look just a little over here, and there's some more. I'm gonna guess that's another big female. The females are bigger. And she's getting some attention by these males. Looks like there's another female back there with a male. But everything is just spawning right now. We've got the herring, we've got these horseshoe crabs. I mean, I'm just gonna do a rough count of the ones I see. So there's three right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This guy's on land. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23, 23, and that's just on 15 feet of gravelly beach. There's definitely more out there. The water is just not that clear, so it's hiding them, but uh, makes sense. This is the time when they spawn. Here we actually have some dead horseshoe crabs. Looks like these ones were trying to mate and something went wrong. 
I don't know whether they got washed up or they got flipped over, and they dried out, don't know, not exactly sure. But here you can see, oh, oh, they are still alive. They are still alive. Wow, holy moly. Uh, I'm actually, wow. Is Gina still alive as well? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, <laughs> things have changed. Okay, so they are matched up. He's holding on for dear life. Um, the tide will come in. Uh, I don't know it's going to get this high. Um, I may help them out in this situation. I, you know, it's always tough, like, should I intervene with nature? Um, I think just for the fact that I'm here, um, I think I'm going to... Wow, I thought these were dead, so I have to totally adjust my mindset. I have to now grab two horseshoe crabs, try to keep them together, and then bring them to the water, because this is the tide... This is just, I'm not sure the tide's gonna come this high. It was kinda high yesterday, and I don't know if it's gonna come back this high. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna try and help him out, so hold on. Okay, I just checked, and we already hit high tide, so the water is not gonna come up anymore. Um, I think it might have been a larger high tide yesterday, which probably brought in all the mud and explains several things now at this point. Um, it also left these creatures abandoned, um, they came up too far and they got turned over and once you get turned over and you're a horseshoe crab and you're on dry land, you're in rough shape, you know, this, this is kind of turning into a rescue mission here, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to help these guys out, I'm going to stop holding this phone and I've got the, uh, the chest mount, so, uh, you'll get to see these horseshoe crabs, I wouldn't normally touch these horseshoe crabs, especially when they're mating, um, I'm going to go ahead and save these ones because, I think they're just gonna die otherwise, and I, these, I love these creatures, I wanna see more come, so that's what's gonna happen. So here we go. A lot of people try to grab the crabs by their tails. Don't do that. We're gonna hold it by the side. Um, and there's two, which is gonna make it tough, which is why I need my hands, so I'm gonna let go of this and save these crabs. Uh, let's see, I wonder if I could use something. Ah, you know what, I got a net. I could try that, that might help. I think maybe if I just, he's holding on, good for him. Okay, all right. Oh, that actually worked out really well. Okay, let me get them to the water really quickly. All right. He just doesn't want to let go. He's holding on, good for him. Found his mate. Get a little bit more water. I think we're in the clear. She, all she needs to do is just keep moving. And he, yeah, he got his tail out. Yes. All right. That's it. There we go. That's it. Wow, I thought those were dead. That just threw me off. I was like, did not realize that. It's hard. I mean, if you grab one, it's easy, but you're trying to let him hold on, so. All right. He got his tail. See his tail sticking out? He got his tail out. And there they go. Plenty of energy. So I pretty much gave up on fishing today. I, I've been hanging out with these horseshoe crabs for uh, almost like an hour, just kind of watching them and filming them. So this episode is going to be a horseshoe crab episode. <laughs> This is their spawning time, and I've just never seen so many in one spot. So this is just super cool. And uh, I didn't catch anything today, but I caught some cool video of some cool horseshoe crabs. I count as something.
while I'm here, picking up some trash. Wow, okay, so what a weird day. <laughs> Started off fishing, fishing wasn't working, the water was too muddy, the water was muddy probably because there was a super high tide last night. There wasn't any rain, so, I mean, we do get muddy water here, but, you know, that was a little bit more muddy than usual, so it made me think that maybe the high tide pushed those horseshoe crabs, when they were mating, pushed them further up onto the shore, and then when the, the tide receded, they got trapped and they were flipped, and horseshoe crabs, you know, they're holding on to each other for dear life because they're mating, because there's a lot of competition, as you saw, and the fact that they were flipped and they were outside the water and made it almost impossible for them to turn themselves over. So, yeah, I saved them. You know, I should you mess with nature? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, in that situation, they're going to make more uh, horseshoe crabs, and hopefully they'll name one after me. My name's Dave, so it's a pretty common name, so it's not a huge, huge ask. Anyways, that's truly it for this one, guys. Like and subscribe if you want. And the next episode will probably be, I don't know, maybe GoPro and a lobster trap? Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe fishing, but probably GoPro and a lobster trap. And of course, I'll be probably trying to do that and all of a sudden a whale will need to be saved, so I'll turn it into a save the whale episode. You never know. That's kind of the fun part about doing this. And it gets me out, it gets me doing fun stuff, and I'll stop rambling, I'm gonna go home, I'm tired. Have a great one, guys, and I'll catch you later.